Welcome to the Spring 2015 edition of the Rushmore Borough Council Arena Magazine, featuring important information for the residents of Rushmore. The Arena Magazine is also available in other formats. And if you have difficulties in receiving your copy of the Arena Magazine, please call Jill Chisnell at Rushmore Borough Council on 01252 398 744. If you wish to contact Rushmore Borough Council about any other issues, the telephone number is 01252 398 399 and the web address is www.rushmore.gov.uk. The, this audio edition of the Arena Magazine is brought to you by FATN Talking News for the Visually Impaired. And this is Tony Osteem um, bringing you this audio copy of the Arena Magazine. And with me reading are Margaret Hamm and Alistair Jaffray. And our recording engineer is Paul Hibbard. We start with a message from Councillor Peter Moyle, leader of Rushmore Borough Council, who writes, Welcome to the spring edition of Arena Magazine. In this edition, we have lots of news, events and information to share with you. In 2015, we are hoping to create hundreds more apprenticeships and training opportunities thanks to our new status as a National Skills Academy for Construction. Work has already started on the first new homes as part of the Wellesley development in Aldershot, and we expect this to create around a 1,000 training and employment opportunities for local people over the next 10 years. As ARENA went to print, we were getting ready to send out our annual council tax bills. We'll be freezing our share of the council tax bill this year for the fifth year running. We use the money you pay us to provide more than 100 local services for the residents and businesses of Aldershot and Farnborough. If you don't do so already, we'd ask you to consider paying us by monthly direct debit. It's the easiest and cheapest way to pay and helps to keep your council tax low. Regenerating our town centres continues to be one of our biggest priorities as we move into the new financial year. We're busy consulting with you on our master planning process for Farnborough, which includes proposals for the southern end of the town centre, around the leisure centre and the old police station. To find out more and give us your views, visit www.rushmore.gov.uk forward slash improving Farnborough. The closing date for comments is Wednesday the 25th of March. Dates for your diary over the next few months include the annual Rushmore Spring Clean at Cove Brook, Farnborough, on Saturday the 11th of April, and all volunteers are welcome. We'll also be having a blitz on graffiti from the 13th of April to the 17th of April as part of Graffiti Focus Week. The spring also brings with it the launch of our annual Rushmore in Bloom competition, with lots of opportunities for residents, communities, school children and businesses to get involved. I'm always impressed by the enthusiasm and passion our residents show. May will mark the 70th anniversary of VE Day, and Aldershot will be holding a 1940s dance at the Prince's Hall on Friday the 8th of May, followed by a big community event on Saturday the 9th of May in Aldershot Town Centre. The election countdown has begun and we've included lots of information on the upcoming general and local elections and how to use your vote on the 7th of May. We're building jobs for Rushmore. Hundreds of apprenticeships and training opportunities for local people are set to be created over the next decade and beyond. This is thanks to a new status we have been awarded by the Construction Industry Training Board. We are now a National Skills Academy for Construction. What that means in practice is that we can negotiate deals with developers so that all major new build schemes will create a number of training and apprenticeship opportunities. And we're getting the ball rolling with the Wellesley development in Aldershot. 
Over the next ten years, up to 3,850 homes, plus community facilities, are being built at this urban extension of Aldershot. And now, thanks to this new partnership, about a thousand training and employment opportunities for local people will be created. Andrew Lloyd, our chief executive, said, We're very excited about the opportunities this will provide for our residents. By having this status, we can negotiate with all major developers to secure training, employment and apprenticeship opportunities for local people. We're delighted that Granger is already on board, supporting local jobs for local people for the lifetime of the Wellesley development. The type of jobs available will be varied, including site labourers, project managers, office workers, and there will also be schemes for graduates. It will be ideal for young people looking to enter the construction world, and also those in long-term unemployment needing a helping hand to get back to work. A key part of the scheme will be highlighting construction employment to the youngest members of our society, with visits to schools and work experience opportunities part of the programme. Our status as a National Skills Academy builds on the work we have been doing as part of the Rushmore Employment and Skills Zone. This partnership of more than 70 organisations has worked together to maximise opportunities for local people. We have generated volunteering and work experience placements, hosted pre-employment training programmes to get people they need to apply for local jobs, negotiated guaranteed job interviews for people taking part in these programmes, helped secure 200 jobs for local people, aided 121 residents in completing the Skills Up programme and generated 140 apprenticeships. For information on employment and training support, visit www.rushmore.gov.uk forward slash job help. Direct debit saves you time and money. Did you know you can pay your council tax by direct debit? Paying by direct debit saves time and money. It's the hassle-free, convenient way to pay, and it's very easy to sign up to. In fact, 28,000 of you are already paying this way. All you need is a bank or building society account, and your monthly instalments will be collected automatically. And you even have the choice of three monthly payment dates, the 1st, 10th, or 20th of the month. You can sign up to direct debit payments at the click of a button, Visit www.rushmore.gov.uk forward slash pay council tax or you can call 01252 398 399. A new law helps us to tackle antisocial behaviour more quickly. New powers have come into effect which will help us crack down on low level antisocial behaviour in Rushmore. The Anti-Social Behaviour Crime and Policing Act 2014 introduces new powers to local authorities and the police and bolsters some existing ones for dealing with antisocial behaviour. It also gives police the ability to issue 48-hour dispersal orders to anyone committing or likely to commit antisocial behaviour in a public place. These have already been used in Aldershot and Farnborough. Antisocial behaviour is any action which causes alarm, harassment or distress to the community and can include graffiti, public drinking, fly-tipping and noise nuisance. One of the most important changes is the introduction of Community Protection Notices, or CPNs, which can be used to tackle a wide range of issues and offers a far broader approach to enforcement. This means antisocial behaviour can be resolved far more quickly and effectively. Other new measures include the community trigger, which gives victims the chance to demand action, starting with the review of their case, and the community remedy, where they can have a say in any out-of-court punishment of offenders. And if you're affected by antisocial behaviour, Contact the Safer North Hampshire Community Safety Team on 01252 398 183 
or email community safety team at community safety nh.org. Alternatively, contact our environmental health team at pollution team at rushmore.gov.uk or call 01252-398-122. Join us for a spring clean, it says here, and there's a picture of some enthusiastic people with a lot of black sacks which they have presumably filled. Community-spirited residents are invited to roll up their sleeves and join the litter-picking brigade on Saturday the 11th of April for the annual Rushmore Spring Clean. Volunteers can take part in the event at Cove Brook, Farnborough, from 10am to midday. Organisers from the Cove Brook Greenway Group hope to attract people of all ages, keen to do something positive to keep their community clean. The Spring Clean is just one of many events planned throughout the year by the Cove Brook Greenway Group, backed by Rushmore Borough Council. Volunteers are asked to wear suitable clothing and should meet at the Curly Bridge footpath at the end of Cheney Way. Litter pickers and rubbish sacks plus refreshments will be provided. Families are welcome, although children under 16 must be accompanied by an adult. Cove Brook Greenway Group also has a work party on the second Saturday of every month, which always welcomes newcomers. And for more information, visit www.covebrook.hampshire.org.uk. You can do your bit to keep Rushmore graffiti-free. Graffiti is ugly and can make our neighbourhoods look uncared for. It's also a crime. But everyone can play a part in keeping the area graffiti-free during Graffiti Focus Week from 13th of April to the 17th of April. Businesses and residents are urged to either report graffiti to us or remove it themselves. David Lipscomb, the project's team leader for the Safer North Hampshire Community Safety Team, who is coordinating the week, said Graffiti Focus Week is a concerted blitz on graffiti across the area. As well as raising public awareness of the problem, we visit schools and talk to children about graffiti's links to the fear of crime. There are also increased enforcement patrols in graffiti hotspots, and of course we try to remove as much of it as possible. To help prevent graffiti, property owners are also encouraged to plant climbing shrubs on exposed brick walls, hedges in front of wooden fences, and install security lighting. You can report graffiti any time on our website. Visit www.rushmore.gov.uk forward slash graffiti or you can call on 01252 398 399. And now for um, the, the gist of some of the advertisements which are included in the magazine. There's one from Elsted Chiropractic, which is a fully registered health clinic comprising chiropractors, sports and Thai masseurs, reflexologists and hypnotherapists. And they can be contacted on 01252 703633 and they're located at the Green Elsted Surrey GU86HA. There is an advertisement from Hampshire Health Trainers. Um, they say that give a list of possible New Year resolutions, do more physical activity, lose some weight, stop smoking, stop drinking, don't flirt. And they say our health trainers know how hard it is to keep resolutions. So if you're trying to lose weight, get fitter and more active, stop smoking or cut down on the booze, give us a call. What's more, we're totally free. And the number there is 02392 And then finally for this little lot, there's a repairdoctor.co.uk which is offering... Um, repairs for various makes of domestic appliances and they do repairs and servicing to parts, spares and accessories uh, fixed price repairs and there's uh, no fix no fee and their telephone number is 0800 804 6456 
Have your say on regeneration. There's still time to have your say and help shape the future of our town centres. We have begun what is called a master planning process that will identify future development and regeneration opportunities for Aldershot and Farnborough. We are working with architects Allies and Morrison, who have been leading the consultation for us, starting with Farnborough. We have created a draft master plan document for the town centre area, known as the Civic Quarter, identifying key sites for development. Potential areas for redevelopment include the southern end of the town centre, incorporating the library, leisure centre, community centre and the old police station. The document includes artists' impressions of how the site could look, focused around a re-landscaped public green space, a redeveloped leisure centre, as well as new buildings and homes facing onto the green. The library and community centre could also be refurbished, and you have until the 25th of March to have your say on the proposals. You can also give us your feedback online at www.rushmore.gov.uk forward slash Improving Farnborough. Following consultation with you, we will finalise the master plan that will outline better uses of land that provide a positive contribution to the ongoing regeneration of Farnborough. In Aldershot, a number of sites have been identified where improvement and action are needed. The galleries, Westgate Phase 2, with opportunities to refurbish or relocate the Prince's Hall, Gala Bingo and the King's Centre, empty shop units towards the bottom end of Union Street and round to the High Street, the Palace, Hippodrome House and Aldershot Station. Consultation on the Aldershot Master Plan will start in June. Meanwhile, we have organised some afternoon and evening workshops for the public on Monday the 23rd of March at the Prince's Hall, although this might be too late for you by the time you receive this uh, bulletin. If you'd like to come along to the Old Shot event, email communications at rushmore.gov.uk or call 01252 398808. And to find out more and get involved, visit www.rushmore.gov.uk forward slash improving Aldershot. And Aldershot improvements are moving apace. This year is already proving to be an exciting one for Aldershot, with work on improving the town centre moving ahead. The funding to bring about big improvements to the town has come from the Growing Enterprise Fund, established by Enterprise M3, which is the local enterprise partnership for our area. Phase 1, which includes improvements to Union Street and Wellington Street, new sections of paving, new trees, benches and improved lighting, is almost complete. We've also been talking to traders to encourage them to apply for new shopfront grants to spruce up their exteriors and restore traditional features. And the refurbishment of the High Street car park is planned to start this month. In April, work will start on improving links from Westgate through to the town centre. This will include better signage, new visitor information points, more new trees and wider pavements. A new amphitheatre stairway will also lead shoppers from the High Street car park through to the town centre and Court Road will be given a new look. While the work is carried out, the taxi rank has been temporarily relocated to the High Street. To keep up to date with the progress of the project, go to www.rushmore.gov.uk forward slash improving all the shot. And we now give you details of the various dates and the timetable for the council and the various committees. Now, during March, on the 16th, is the Leisure and Youth Policy and Review Panel. On the 19th, Corporate Services Policy and Review Panel. 23rd, Borough Services Policy and Review Panel. 24th, Environment Policy and Review Panel. 26th, Licensing Subcommittee, Alcohol and Entertainments and the Community Policy and Review Panel. The 30th is the Licensing and General Purposes Committee, 
and the 31st there's a cabinet meeting. And during April, on the 1st, there's the Development Management Committee, 7th, Licensing Subcommittee, 22nd, Licensing Subcommittee again, Alcohol and Entertainments, 23rd, a full council meeting, 28th, the cabinet meeting, and 29th, the Development Management Committee. And when we go into May, on the 5th, there's the Licensing Subcommittee, and the 21st, the Licensing Subcommittee, Alcohol and Entertainments. On the 26th, the Annual Council Meeting. 27th, Development Management Committee. 28th, Licensing and General Purposes Committee. In June, on the 1st, Standards and Audit Committee. On the 2nd, Licensing Subcommittee, Cabinet. 4th, Corporate Services Policy and Review Panel. On the 8th, Leisure and Youth Policy and Review Panel. On the 9th, Environment Policy and Review Panel. The 11th, Community Policy and Review Panel. The 15th, Borough Services Policy and Review Panel. 18th, Licensing Subcommittee, Alcohol and Entertainments. The public is welcome at all meetings. Most start at 7pm at the Council offices in Farnborough Road, Cabinet meetings start at 4.30pm. For more information, visit www.rushmore.gov.uk forward slash meetings calendar or call Cathy Flat on 01252 398829. Celebrating VE Day 70 years on. It was the day the whole country celebrated. And in May, we're going to recreate that special day from 70 years ago, the day when war in Europe was over. A whole host of events are set to take place to mark the 70th anniversary of VE Day, and as home of the British Army, Aldershot will become the focus of some particularly poignant celebrations of that momentous occasion. We've teamed up with the Garrison, Home Front History and the Hampshire Cultural Trust to organise two major events in Aldershot. On Friday the 8th of May, VE Day itself, the era will be brought back to life as we turn back the clock and stage a 1940s dance at the Prince's Hall. Supported by the 1940s Society, the Apollo Big Band will be entertaining guests from 7.30pm. Tickets are £15 and are available now from the Prince's Hall website, www.princeshall.com, or by calling the box office on 01252 Three two nine one double five. The following day, Saturday 9th May, we'll see the whole town come together to celebrate with a free family fun day. From 11am, a Victory Day parade will bring together more than 100 reenactors, veterans, uniformed services, marching bands and school children. There'll be a vintage fair in the town offering antiques and memorabilia and 1940s entertainment in Prince's Gardens as well as wartime exhibitors in the Prince's Hall, and much more. We'd like to encourage everyone to dress up and come along and take part in the day. For more information about the event, visit www.rushmoor.gov.uk forward slash VE Day. David Phillips, our town centre and cultural manager, said, After six years at war, VE Day was a day that the country erupted with celebration. With our 70th anniversary events, we want to try to recreate that special atmosphere and bring everyone together for a weekend full of fun and entertainment. The Farnborough Concert Band of the Royal British Legion will be performing a VE Day concert at the Legion's headquarters in Farnborough on Saturday the 25th of April from 7.30pm. Tickets for that are £7.50 and can be reserved in advance by calling 07767 025074 or emailing jg at field at britishlegion.org. For more details on the VE Day celebrations, visit www.rushmore.gov.uk forward slash VE Day. Make recycling your priority. Recycling benefits us all. But while our residents recycle between 7,000 and 8,000 tonnes of waste a year, this still only amounts to 26% of the total waste we produce. 
and that's why we want to encourage everyone to make a few small changes to their household routine to make Rushmore greener. The good news is that we're all generally quite good at recycling paper, but only about 50% of tins and cans are put in the blue bins, and many plastic bottles which could be recycled are still being thrown away. Recycling is easy to make a part of your daily routine and a great way to get your children thinking about their environment. Try to use your blue bin every day. It's really helpful if you can break down large boxes, rinse cans, tins and plastic bottles, and remember to put items loose in your blue bin with no plastic bags. Fill your glass box or basket with bottles and jars without lids, but please don't put glass in the blue bin. There are so many other ways to recycle too, from using bottle banks to composting your grass cuttings. If you have bulky items that you no longer need, you can take them to our household waste recycling centres or use our bulky waste collection service. If you have extra recycling, you can order free clear recycling sacks from our customer services team on 0252 sorry, 01252 398 399. You can even order a larger blue bin or extra blue box for free. And for more information on rubbish and recycling, um, this is available from www.rushmore.gov.uk forward slash rubbish and recycling. Would you be a champion against food waste? Love food but hate waste? Then Hampshire County Council wants you as its champion. The council is looking for volunteer champions to spread the message about how people can save money by throwing away less food. As a community champion, you would be involved in passing on tips to help local residents make the most of the food they buy. This would involve giving talks to interested groups and also attending local events to promote food and composting advice. Champions may also lead groups in activities to show how they can reduce food waste through smart shopping, meal planning, storage and using leftovers in new recipes. Volunteers should be comfortable talking to people in groups and will be asked to commit 30 hours over a year which could include some evenings and weekends. Although an interest in food and or previous experience of home composting would be helpful, it's not essential, as training will be given. For more information, email waste.prevention at hants.gov.uk or call Zoe Cook on 01962 832286. Changes to Easter rubbish and recycling collections. Don't miss your bin collections this Easter. Collections will be as normal on Good Friday, 3rd of April, but will be a day later than usual from Easter Monday, the 6th of April. It's also a great time to recycle all those empty chocolate boxes, so fill your blue bin with cardboard as well as tins and cans, aerosols, paper and plastic bottles but please don't put your recycling into plastic bags or it can't be recycled. For more information, visit www.rushmoor.gov.uk forward slash bin collections. Farnborough's clock is keeping time once more. The once broken clock in the much-loved Farnborough landmark, the clock house, is now working again after being repaired and restored. The town centre clock, which overlooks the roundabout that took its name, was repaired at the end of last year following requests from the Farnborough Society and other members of the community who wanted to see it back in working order. Local historian Joe Gosney knows a lot about the history of the clock, which has been part of Farnborough Clock House since it was built as a private house by Henry Deaver in 1895. During the First World War, the tower was used as a billet for the Hampshire reservists who were protecting the nearby railway. By 1930s, the downstairs was occupied by Alfred Pearson estate agents, which enjoyed the telephone number of Farnborough One. 
The upstairs was occupied by a tea room. The building has changed little over time, except that the uh, cupola, that's the small white dome at the top, was lowered in the 1950s because the wooden supports had become rotten. Phil Stoneman, Rushmore Borough Council's economic development officer, said, We were happy to respond to the concerns of the community and to return the clock to working order, as it's a significant and recognisable historical landmark. Jim Thompson a turret clock engineer from Hampshire Clockworks, repaired and upgraded the mechanism so it will automatically reset in the event of a power cut and will self-adjust to take account of summer and winter time. Hart Estate Agent, which currently occupies the clockhouse building, contributed to the cost of the repairs. Michael Johnson, branch manager, said, It's a privilege to work in such an uh, iconic building. Everyone knows it as a landmark in the town, which makes it really easy for people to find our branch. It's time to make Rushmore bloom. Keen gardeners of all ages are urged to take up their tools for this year's Rushmore in Bloom competition. This much-loved and eagerly contested event celebrates the efforts of gardeners big and small and brightens up our streets and communities with a host of blooming gardens, allotments and public spaces. A hugely popular part of Rushmore in Bloom is the schools competition, which will be launched at Squires Garden Centre in Badshot Lee on 23rd of April. Last year, the award for Best Young Gardener was presented to the first Aldershot Cubs and the best school grounds prize went to Cherrywood Community Primary School in Farnborough. This year, schools will work to the theme Poetry Pot, and, as always, there are a a variety of categories for them to enter, with winners' trophies presented at an exciting awards event at Squires Garden Centre. The competition is free to enter, and open to all schools, preschools and nurseries within Aldershot and Farnborough. And for more information, you can visit www.rushmore.gov.uk forward slash Rushmore in Bloom or call 01252 And then for businesses looking to raise their profile can play a part in supporting Rushmore in Bloom by sponsoring a roundabout. Sponsoring a roundabout can offer cost-effective advertising in a prominent location and money raised from the scheme helps support the Rushmore in Bloom competition. The latest information about sponsorship is on our website at www.rushmore.gov.uk forward slash roundabout sponsorship. Families have fun getting fit. Around 300 Aldershot families will be having fun getting fit in 2015, thanks to a new Active Families Club. The club, which starts after Easter, is part of a project aimed at improving the health of entire families, from children up to their grandparents, and will be run from the council-managed Connaught Leisure Centre. The project will kick off by gathering information from local households on their lifestyles, levels of exercise, and the types of physical activities they would like to do from football to aerobics, from badminton to table tennis. Instructors and volunteer champions, keen to get their communities more active and healthy, will lead the free regular weekly activities. The club will have green credentials too, targeting people in the Aldershot Park Ward and encouraging local people to cycle or walk to the centre, although sessions will be open to all. Funding for the project comes from Public Health Hampshire, the County Sports Partnership and the Rushmore Sport and Physical Activity Alliance. Martin Stereo, Rushmore Borough Council Health and Physical Activity Officer, said, I'm excited to be launching this unique project that will encourage local residents to enjoy a more active and healthy lifestyle. And now we hear about a new scheme which aims to get people on their feet, although I must say that that, uh, it's of a limited duration. That's now nearly run out of time. School children and residents are being encouraged to run, walk or cycle to win prizes in a new Beat the Street scheme, which started this month. The initiative was set up after the 2012 Olympics to encourage people to walk and cycle to school. 
School children and residents in and around the ward of Aldershot Park will be able to collect points as they walk, run or cycle and can record distances using their special fobs at beat boxes installed on local lighting columns. They'll then be able to see how they're doing compared with other schools and communities with prizes up for grabs. The initiative started on the 2nd of March and lasts for four weeks and hopefully its lasting legacy will be a growing number of children and parents walking or cycling on the school run. And for more information, please contact Martin Stereo, Rushmore Borough Council's Health and Physical Activity Officer, on 01252 398 763, or email martin.stereo at rushmore.gov.uk. Forum speaks up for older people. Are you aged 60 or over and keen to get involved in helping to shape services in Farnborough and Aldershot? The Rushmore Senior Citizens Forum wants to strengthen the voice of older people by attracting more members to its meetings. The forum brings together local groups, organisations and residents meeting four times a year in both Aldershot and Farnborough. The Aldershot Forum meetings will take place at 11am on 15th of April, 8th of July and 14th October at the Prince's Hall. The Farnborough Forum meets at 11am on 13th of April, 6th of July and 12th of October at the Council offices in Farnborough. New members are always welcome and anyone who is interested can either just turn up on the day or you can email Committee services at rushmore.gov.uk for more details. And you can also find more information on our website at www.rushmore.gov.uk forward slash senior citizens forum. Markets come under new management. A new era has begun for the popular weekly markets and car boot sales in Farnborough and Aldershot. We have taken over the running of both with the aim of bringing about big improvements. We will be revamping both markets, and we've moved Farnborough Market, which takes place every Tuesday, to Queensmead to increase footfall and provide an economic boost for the town centre. The Thursday Aldershot Market will remain in Union and Wellington Streets. Both markets are open between 9am and 4pm. Over the next few months, we will work closely with traders to improve the appearance of stalls and the range and quality of goods for sale. We will also be keeping some of the old favourites, such as the green grocers, the butchers and florists. And to lead these improvements, we have appointed a new market manager. Taking over the markets will help us generate nearly £100,000 every year, providing a welcome income boost to protect council services in difficult economic times. We want to make the markets real community assets that will encourage increasing numbers of people into our town centres on market day. Car boot sales take place every Sunday. The Aldershot one is in the High Street multi-storey car park between 10am and 3pm, while car booters in Farnborough head for the Pinehurst car park from 11am to 3pm. For more information, visit www.rushmore.gov.uk forward slash Markets, And I'll uh, now give you a summary of the other advertisements in uh, this quarter's issue. Um, firstly, are you using your conservatory all year round? A Thermotech insulated roofing system installed by Green Space UK allows you to use your conservatory on the hottest of summer days and the coldest of winter days. And the uh, Telephone number there is 01202 Then great news for all solar PV owners. You're currently only using 30% of the electricity you generate and exporting the rest. We could increase that to over 80%. And if that rings any bells with you, you can contact 01202 Then there is an advertisement from the Samaritans saying, Knowing someone is always there gives me hope. Talk to us at any time you like, in your own way and off the record, about whatever's getting to you. The telephone number is 08457 
And the regular advertisement on the back page is from Devereux House. A warm, friendly welcome awaits in our uh, a residential care home and daycare centre. Do you need extra care following an illness or operation? Call for further details on 01252 512 The election countdown begins. In just under two months' time, voters go to the polls to decide who will govern the country for the next five years when the general election takes place on the 7th of May. Here in Rushmore, you will also get to decide one of the local councillors who will represent you. It is one of the most important dates for democracy and will be taking a leading role locally for both elections. Further information on all the elections will be available on our website, www.rushmore.gov.uk. And don't lose your right to vote. Register now. You can only vote if your details are on our electoral register. To vote in 7th of May elections, you need to register by Monday the 20th of April, and you will need your national insurance number to do this. You can check if you are on the register and also register to vote by going to www.rushmore.gov.uk forward slash register to vote. Our elections team will also be in Farnborough and Aldershot town centres on the 28th and 29th of March and 11th and 12th of April from 10am to 2pm to answer your election inquiries. Voting by post or proxy. If you know you are going to be away on 7th of May or have difficulty getting to a polling station, you can apply to vote by post or arrange for someone else to vote on your behalf. This is called voting by proxy. The deadline to apply is 5pm on Tuesday the 21st of April. To apply for a postal or proxy vote, visit www.rushmore.gov.uk forward slash elections or call 01252 Polling stations on 7th of May will open throughout Rushmore and you will receive a polling card containing the address of the one you have to vote in. The polling stations will be open from 7am and close at 10pm. The count for the general election takes place as soon as polls are closed. The local election count will take place the following morning. For more advice on elections, email elections at rushmore.gov.uk or call 01252 398826 or 3988228. You can make a difference. Become a councillor. If you're concerned about what happens in your local area and want to make a difference, then you could consider becoming a councillor. Being an effective councillor requires both commitment and hard work. Councillors have to balance the needs and interests of residents, their political party, if they represent one, and the council. You don't have to be a member of a political party to stand for election, as you can stand as an independent. If you're interested in representing your local community, We have more information on our website at www.rushmore.gov.uk forward slash become a councillor. We're cracking down on benefit fraud. Last year we uncovered tens of thousands of pounds worth of benefit fraud and will not let up in saving council taxpayers' money in 2015. We take benefit fraud very seriously and will prosecute anyone found defrauding housing benefit and council tax support. In 2014, we successfully prosecuted nine cases of housing and council tax benefit fraud, totaling £69,000. Sentences for these cases range from fines to seven weeks in prison, and every one of these offenders is being made to pay back the money owed. If you're claiming benefit and your circumstances change, We would urge you to tell us immediately so we can advise you if this affects your entitlements. You can report suspected benefit fraud anonymously 
by completing an online form on our website, www.rushmore.gov.uk forward slash report benefit fraud, or through our benefit fraud hotline on 0800 7311955. Now we have information about what's on. The Arts Centre reaches out to a community. The West End Centre in Aldershot is well known as a top-class arts venue, and the various workshops it offers through its ongoing community outreach programme are also helping some of our most disadvantaged residents make their mark. The outreach programme has always been an important part of the centre's work, with tutors offering a wide range of mainly free arts and crafts classes. But in the last two years, the programme has grown to such an extent that thousands of people have now seen their skills and confidence boosted by taking part. Centre spokesman Steve Gibbs said, We run classes and workshops for a wide range of groups, from the Nepali community to the long-term unemployed, disadvantaged children and women in refuge. The workshops take place here and at locations across Rushmore, and the feedback we should receive from people who take them is great. One lady who came along to the centre for the first of a series of confidence-building workshops called us to say she wouldn't be able to come again. She had felt so inspired by the first workshop that she'd gone out and got a job. For details on the outreach programme, email west.end.centre at hampshireculturaltrust.org dot uk or call O one two five two four O eight O four O and there are a couple of inset pictures here uh, a discovery day, an open day for special needs children to explore arts and crafts and the Willow Warhorse WWI World World War One project in conjunction with the Aldershot Military Museum. Anything goes in this cracking tale of intrigue on the high seas. Cody Farnborough Amateur Operatic Society brings a crew of singing sailors and some ship-shaped dunes to the Prince's Hall from 24th to the 28th of March with the Cole Porter classic Anything Goes. Peppering this timeless classic are some of musical theatre's most memorable songs, including I Get a Kick Out of You, You're the Top, and, of course, Anything Goes. To book tickets, visit the Princess Hall's website, www.princesshall.com, or call the box office on 01252 329155. And we now have a long list of what's on by way of entertainment over the next three months. Unfortunately, such a long list is somewhat indigestible in the spoken word, but it's only right to include it here, so here goes. On Monday, the 23rd of March, there's monthly make nail art at the West End Centre, Aldershot, 7 to 9 p.m., £12 per session. Tuesdays, from the 24th of March, story time for preschool children, Farnborough Library and Learning Centre, that's at 10.30 a.m. and is free. Tuesday, the 24th of March, through to Saturday, the 28th, as we've just heard, as anything goes, so the Cody Farm Amateur Operatic Society at uh, the um, so the Prince's Hall Aldershot, 7:30 p.m. with a Saturday matinee at 2:30. Tickets are 12 pounds to 16 pounds. Wednesday, the 25th of March, Shappy Corzandi, because I'm Shappy, sell out at the 2014 Edinburgh Fringe. And that's at the West End Centre, Aldershot. Tickets priced £15 and £13. On Thursdays from the 26th of March, Baby Bounce and Rhyme Time, Farnborough Library and Learning Centre, 10.30am free. Thursday the 26th, Richard Herring, Lord of the Dance Settee, at the West End Centre, Aldershot, 8pm, £15. Friday the 27th of March, Raglan's Dublin-based indie rockers and one of 2015's most exciting new guitar bands. That's the West End Centre Aldershot at 8pm, 
Tickets £6.50. Saturday the 28th of March. Felt Easter eggs create beautiful hand-felted eggs. That's at the West End Centre Aldershot. And sessions run from 10.30am to 1230 and price is three pounds, and it's for ages three plus, but all children must be accompanied by an adult. Tuesday the 7th of April, a vocal workshop for seven to 11 year olds, the Prince's Hall Aldershot, that's from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., and the cost is 19 pounds. Tuesday the 7th and Wednesday the 8th of April, there's a dance in a day workshop for kids, at the Prince's Hall Aldershot from 10 till 4 and the cost is again £19. Wednesday the 8th of April, four parts guitar, four of the world's finest acoustic guitarists, Raymond Burley, Clive Carroll, John Etheridge and Gordon Giltrap at the West End Centre Aldershot at 8pm and the tickets are £14 and £12. Then on the 9th of April, play in a day, Wind in the Willows for Kids at the Princess Hall Aldershot from 10am till 4pm and it costs £19. A craft workshop for four to seven year olds, Princess Hall Aldershot, 10 to 4pm, £19. That's on the same day, 9th of April. 10th of April, Friday, the Chuckles of Oz featuring the Chuckles Brothers, Enjoy the Wacky Brothers' take on the classic tale of The Wizard of Oz. That's at 2pm at the Princess Hall Aldershot, and it's £14. Saturday the 11th of April, Marika Hackman at the West End Centre Aldershot at 8pm, and that's £8. Sunday the 12th of April, Echoes of Elvis, the Dale Fontaine Show at the Princess Hall Aldershot, 7.30pm, £10. Wednesday the 15th of April, an evening with Tony Hawkes. An evening of storytelling, stand-up, musical comedy, film clips and excerpts from his new book at the West End Centre Aldershot at 7.30pm and that's £12. Grumpy Old Women, Fifty Shades of Beige. Join the hilarious grumpy old women in this hilarious show with a topical twist at the Princess Hall Aldershot at 8pm. And the tickets are £22.50. Thursday, the 16th of April, The Magic of Porridge Pot and Other Tasty Tales. A trio of tasty tales with puppets, pop-up sets and original music for ages 3 plus at the West End Centre Old Shot at 2.30pm. Tickets £6.50. Thursday the 16th of April again. Let's Twist Again. Great music show featuring hits from the 50s and 60s at the Prince's Hall Aldershot at 7.45pm. Tickets £21, £20 for concessions. Friday the 17th of April. Snap Disco for Kids at the Prince's Hall, 7pm. Tickets £7, £6 or £7. Saturday the 18th of April, Romish Ranganathan and Susie Ruffle, a double bill of two new comedians, West End Centre, Old Shot at 8pm, tickets £12 or £10. And Saturday the 25th of April, Cookie Decorating, 10.30pm, 10.30am to 12.30pm, £3 for ages 3 plus, and children must be accompanied by an adult at the West End Centre, Aldershot. Again on Saturday the 25th of April, the Farnborough Concert Band of the Royal British Legion, a VE Day celebration concert. Legion Headquarters, Farnborough, 7.30pm, tickets £7.50. Advanced bookings on 07767 5074. Monday the 27th of April, monthly make. Carved rubber prints. Make your own set of carved mini rubber stamps and create fantastic patterns and prints. 7 pm to 9 pm, 12 pounds, West End Centre, Aldershot. Wednesday the 29th of April, 
Cocktails Masterclass. Learn how to create delicious cocktails. West End Centre Aldershot at 7pm. Tickets are £35 or £26.25 for concessions. Friday the 1st of May, Duo Tone, mixing classical, baroque, folk, rock and more. West End Centre Aldershot, 8pm, tickets £10. And Lee Nelson at the Princess Hall, Aldershot, 7.30pm, £20. Wednesday the 6th of May, from the Jam Acoustic Show, bassist Bruce Foxton and cohort Russell Hastings remind us why the Jam were one of the biggest selling bands, followed by a question and answer session. West End Centre Aldershot, 8pm, tickets £22.50 or £20. Friday, 8th of May, VE Day, 1940s dance. Supported by the 1940s Society, the Apollo Big Band will be entertaining the crowds with authentic 1940s music. Princess Hall, Aldershot, 7.30pm, tickets £15. Saturday, 9th of May, Victory Day Parade through Aldershot with reenactors, children, services and marching bands from 11am. Dress up 1940s style and join in the fun. There will be a vintage fair at Prince's Gardens and exhibitors in the Prince's Hall, and it's free. Saturday night of May, The Magic of Motown. Prince's Hall, 7.45pm, tickets £22 and £23. Wednesday, 13th of May. When you're smiling, Neil Sands and his West End cast with what promises to be their biggest and best matinee nostalgia show yet. Prince's Hall, Aldershot, 2pm, Tickets £12 or £10 for concessions. And on Thursday the 14th of May, Heckler's Unreserved Spring-Summer 2015, one of the best comedy clubs in the south of England, at the West End Centre Aldershot, £9.50 unreserved or £10.50 for table seats, and that is at 8pm. Saturday the 16th of May... Al Murray, the pub landlord, one man, one governor, at the Prince's Hall Aldershot. At 7.30pm, £25.50. Wednesday the 20th of May, that'll be the day. At the Prince's Hall Aldershot, 7.45pm, £23. Thursday the 21st of May, Nick Harper, acoustic guitar, classical, jazz, flamenco and rock at the West End Centre Aldershot at 8pm, and the tickets are £10. Friday the 22nd of May, an evening of dirty dancing, the tribute show, stunning tribute to the cult film, at 7.45pm, tickets £17 to £20. Tuesday the 26th of May is a craft workshop for four to seven-year-olds, that's at the Prince's Hall Aldershot from 10 till 4, and the cost is £19. From Wednesday the 27th to Thursday the 28th of May, there's Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom, the much-loved children's television show, brought to the stage at the Prince's Hall Aldershot. Um, Wednesday is at 1pm and 4pm, and Thursday at 10am and 1pm. Prices are £11.50 to £15.50. On Thursday, the 28th of May, Arabian Nights join Scheherazade in a thrilling magic carpet ride. And that's for ages 5 plus at the West End Centre Aldershot. And that's at 2.30pm and costs £6.50. And Friday, the 29th of May, Snap Disco at the Prince's Hall Aldershot at 7pm six pounds to seven pounds and the various venues referred to in this whole series you'll want to know some contact numbers there for the Farnborough Library and Learning Centre call 01252 516458 for the Aldershot Library and Learning Centre 01252 322560 the Prince's Hall is on 01252 329155 and the West End Centre is on 01252 330 040 
There's fun for kids all over the borough. Make sure you pop into Farnborough and all shot town centres this Easter for a feast of free family fun. In the Aldershot Bunny Hop, local children can search the town looking for pictures of Easter eggs hidden in shop windows and uncover the hidden word. The competition will be running throughout the Easter holidays from Good Friday, the 3rd of April, to Sunday, the 19th of April, and prizes will include cinema tickets, shopping vouchers, theatre tickets, chocolate Easter eggs, and more and more. Entry forms will be available from the Princess Hall Theatre and inside the Wellington Shopping Centre. The popular Children's Farm also returns to Aldershot Town Centre on Saturday the 4th of April from 11am as well as a special reptile encounter on Saturday the 18th of April. And there are also fun activities planned at the Princess Mead Shopping Centre in Farnborough with free face painting between 11 and 3 on Good Friday, a free sand art workshop between 11am and 4pm on Saturday the 11th of April, and a free gardening workshop from 11am to 4pm on Saturday the 18th of April. Just turn up and enjoy the fun. For more information, visit www.rushmore.gov.uk forward slash Easter fun. And at the Princess Hall Aldershot, Spring offers a fun-packed programme of shows and workshops for children. The hilarious Chuckle Brothers present the Chuckles of Oz on Friday the 10th of April at 2pm. Tickets cost £14 or £52 for a family of four. TV favourite Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom will be bringing magic, fun and even a jelly flood on Wednesday the 27th of May at 1pm and 4pm and Thursday the 28th of May at 10am and 1pm. Tickets are 15.50 and 13.50 for adults, 13.50 and 11.50 for children. A family of four pays £50. A host of workshops including play in a day, a craft workshop, dance in a day and a vocal workshop will be running in the April and May school holidays where children can learn new skills and make friends. And keep up to date for all these details and all these shows and workshops. Visit www.princesshall.com or call the box office on 01252 329 155. Your vote helped changed lives. Local groups benefit from Have Your Say grants voted for by you. Eight community groups in Farnborough and Aldershot have been able to make their projects a reality thanks to votes from you. They've all been awarded Have Your Say grants after winning the seal of approval from local people. The Have Your Say fund is Hampshire County Council money administered by Rushmore Borough Council. We asked community groups to bid for grants of up to £2,000, then asked you to vote for who you thought were the most deserving recipients. Thanks to your feedback, eight local groups are reaping the benefits of a share of a £12,500 community fund. One of the successful recipients was the Creating Futures charity, which provides a range of free activities for children and young people in the more deprived areas of the borough. It's been awarded £2,000 to buy high-quality resources for four of its seven after-school bases, including the Gaming Zone at Farmers Mayfield Community Centre. Executive Director Tracy Clement said, We're absolutely thrilled that so many people voted for our bid. This money will make a huge difference to our young people and will ensure that when they come to us they will have access to a wide range of resources, including arts and crafts, materials, games, sports equipment and textiles. Grants were also awarded to the Parent Action Group for Special Play to fund a theatre trip for families with disabled young people, Young Enterprise, so they can help school children learn about business, the Parkside Aldershot and District Learning Disability Group to help young people with learning difficulties meet up, Mustard Seed Autism Trust for forming an activities club for siblings, the Step-by-Step Peer Education Project, which is helping to raise awareness about youth homelessness, the Rushmore Bike Project to help build a cycling club for the area, 
and home start Rushmore for family outings. And people running retail businesses are advised that the, um, the business uh, rate discounts are available. Do you run a retail business? You might be entitled to discounts on your business rates. From the 1st of April, relief to qualifying retail businesses rises from £1,000 to £1,500. This support is available up to 31st of March 2016 for both existing and new retail outlets. New businesses setting up in empty retail premises that were previously empty for 12 months could also receive a 50% reduction from their business rates. For more information, visit www.rushmore.gov.uk forward slash business rates. Business growth is all sewn up. Last summer, Aldershot haberdashery store Bids and Pieces, not Bids and Pieces, but Bids and Pieces, was featured in our Use Your Local feature, urging residents to support local businesses. Fast forward eight months, and we are delighted to report you have been doing just that, with an increase in trade prompting Bids and Pieces to move to bigger premises at 29 Wellington Street. This is just two doors down from where they used to be in the Wellington Shopping Centre. Husband and wife team Phil and Bridget Powell have sown the seeds of success and expanded the services they offer. In addition to selling everything you could need to sew, knit, crochet or hand make, Bids and Pieces now also runs a drop-in knitting and crochet group every Wednesday and hires out tables to local craft sellers every Friday and Saturday. Bridget said, We're thrilled at the success of our business and would like to thank all our customers who have made it possible. We hope to attract even more customers to our new shop and welcome people to join our new craft club and classes. For more information, visit www.bidsandpieces.uk. And that concludes the spring 2015 issue of the Rushmore Arena magazine, brought to you by FATN Talking News. If you wish to contact us, and especially if you or anyone you know would be interested in receiving a free audio copy of your local newspapers, please call FATN on 01252 719266 or visit our website at www.fatn.org. FATNTalkingNews.org.uk And meanwhile, it's goodbye from all of us, from Margaret. Goodbye. From Alistair. Goodbye. From our engineer, Paul. Goodbye. And from myself, Tony Osteen. Goodbye. <laughs>